Hey there, so I want to quickly demonstrate the idea behind this physical product. This is a kayak emergency relay. It's a Bluetooth device that connects somebody who's doing some sort of active sport um, with other people who might, might want to be monitoring that person. And the idea here is kind of, um, let's say I go out kayaking and I'm pretty far out there. I'm alone on the ocean. And sometimes I think, hey, man, if something happens, no one's going to know where I am or, or what happened. And then meanwhile, my family's on shore thinking, man, it's been a it's been a while. I hope he's okay. And so this um, hardware device um, can pair with an Android smartphone. Um, and it's just a very easy way to track location. Um, and also there's an accelerometer that can monitor motions that can be concerning. So instead of having to have you take your phone out of your dry bag or anything like that, it kind of does a little bit of uh, double duty in the sense of like tracking your location, but also tracking problematic movements and also water submersion and some other features. There are other safety, um, safety, personal safety alarms on the market, but they actually cost quite a bit of money. And so this, the idea here would be that there's some other features that are good, but it's, it's cheap and it doesn't require a monthly subscription. All the parts are pretty off the off the shelf they're very cheap components even though it's rugged and waterproof and all that good stuff so at this point i want to give a quick um demo of the actual app here um so let's just run it i've uh hooked up a an emulator with the google pixel 3a which is the exact kind of phone that i have and i want to show you what this app looks like so um when you first launch the app, so that just went right into the app, but essentially you can launch the app here. I'm already signed into my Google account, so I don't think it should ask me again. Yeah, it didn't. Um, I've got the Kayak Beacon actually right here, the Bluetooth sensor. So it's all ready to be paired up uh, to the app. So I can click Pair Device, and the pair was successful. It um, identifies the name of this device, and you can edit the name and some other hardware features clicking there. Um, because this is the first time we set it up, there's no tracking settings found, and you need to set up the tracking settings in order to use the device. So we can click here and say create tracking settings. Um, and then uh, it, it gives a default name, but we're going to just type in something. Let's say we're going for a paddle on the bay. We could just call this bay paddle here. And we want to activate that panic button. Um, we want to track GPS coordinates and other Google location data that, um, that the phone can collect. Um, and then we want to use the accelerometer to track movements. In this case, we're only going to do rollover, but there's other things you can track here. So I mentioned before, water submersion, it can sense if it's underwater, uh, aggressive chop or surf. Um, if there's strong currents, if it senses that you're fighting a current and losing, it can send a notification. Uh, free fall and then strong g-forces this would be if you get like hit by a boat or something and you can customize the sensitivity of all these settings or add new settings um, by clicking there but for right now this is this is pretty good and we're just going to go to next um, now we want to you have to send these notifications to some recipient right so the recipient can be a phone number it could be an email but you have to enter in something so i'm just going to enter in my phone number here for right now and we're gonna add this and you can see it recognizes that it's a cell phone and that it's able to send messages to that, to that number. So um, now we can move on to the next and this is kind of like a confirmation screen. It's saying, hey, uh, this is what I'm programmed to do. The app will periodically send follow the following information, location data and movement data um, only for rollovers. The app will send this to uh, these point of contacts, this cell phone number. Uh, and the panic button is active. And then you just click start and it should run. So there you go. That's 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 it. Now the the the, the to make sure that you know that it's active, the 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 lights on this thing start flashing and then one green light remains active. Um, and then if, if the battery's running low, it'll start blinking orange. But that's it. You can view the activity log. There will be no activity as of yet. Um, and then if you end session, you'll actually go back to this main, uh, kind of a main menu. Your device is, or this device is still hooked up to the app. Um, but now that we've created a setting, it's saved that automatically. And we can delete it or what we can edit it or whatever. But if we just want to jump right back into that setting, we can click go and we'll say, okay, this is what we're tracking. Same thing again and click start. 
Um, and so the other side of this, you might be thinking, well, what does the recipient receive, like the person who's getting this, these notifications and all that good stuff? So the recipient, if they have the app, this will actually launch. They'll get a text message and it will launch the app. If they don't have the app, it will just bring them to a URL. And it's very simple. It just says Ted Briggs wants to share tracking information with you. There's no notifications because there's been no kind of problematic movements or anything like that. They'll tell you what it's sharing, so location data, rollover data. Um, and then from here, you can actually just track the person, uh, the beacon, in real time. So if you go here, I've simulated a kayaker kayaking in somewhere where I kayak pretty often, which is off the coast of New Jersey um, at my parents' house. So this is near where my parents live, and this is somewhere where I might be kayaking. But now the person has an entire activity log and can track this in real time. So yeah, that's pretty much it.